Hey guys, Lucas here, back with another video. Now today is not a summer vlog, and instead we're going to be reviewing the Lego Movie 2 Emmett's Dream House slash Rescue Rocket, but this time it's the Rescue Rocket. <coughs> okay, sorry about the coat, but this time it's the Rescue Rocket. If you haven't seen the Dream House review, um, there should be a card up now, probably up there. So today I'm only going to be taking a look at the Rescue Rocket, but I'm also still going to be taking a look at the four figures but in a much more quicker way so and we're also going to be comparing um one of the figures in this series so anyway let's go on to the figure so our first figure is Emmett and yep and he is the same exact one from the Emmett and Betty's build and fix workshop set which is a set I don't really I'm not really planning to get I'm not really sure if this is the most common. There might be another one. I think this and the Happy Smiling Emmett from the Emmett Tricycle set. Go check that. Go, go check out the review. Is the most common because a lot of them only appear like once or twice. But the torso and legs and the hair are the same. The only thing that's new for here is the face, which he has an alternate face right here, which is him pretty angry, and him just like clothes clothes mouth smiling main figure by the way the torso and legs are different from the one in the original movie sets because this one he has scuffs to it then we have his bff which is lucy um sorry guys it's not focusing okay there you go guys i got it to focus but here's lucy and yep this is a same this is very similar to the one in the minifigure series which i do have except it does not have the hood piece which the hood piece on mine is kind of damaged, but either way, well, but going back to the figure, there's the, this is like the most common, her, Lucy's most common face print for her, that particular face print is the most common, because it also comes to the main figure series and a lot of the other sets she comes in, but there's one where she is a bit different, with the escape buggy and some other set that I don't really plan to get. And then here's her um, alternate face, which, yep, has her pretty angry. And I'll let's take a look at her. This is without the quiver and the scarf. Okay, so here she is without the quiver and the scarf. And yep, she here's her back printing, which is not really too much. Instead, it's not a jacket; it's a shirt. And also, her legs are different because obviously, in her apocalypse bird, after all. And her face print, I mean, um, I mean, hair piece, sorry, at least. They have goggles, and plus the printing does cut from here, so they don't go print all the way like the original one does. I do have the original Lucy. I'll probably compare that to some other video, but either way, that's it. Now let's move on to the next figure. Okay. Okay, so the guys, the next figure here is Rex Danger Vest, which is a really, really cool figure. His face print is... Is actually I don't know if it's exclusive or not. I think it comes in the poly bag set. Sorry guys. And um, his torso and legs are exclusive and are really useful. It would have been more useful if it didn't have the Rex logo on the back. But that's not that's not a big deal. It's really useful still for like uh, space galaxy patrol people, like something from the Kree from Captain Marvel and stuff. Um, he also has a little like details and stuff like the stripes for rex and his face print is yeah it's not exclusive but i think it's also kind of rare and the back one he looks pretty worried and he also has a new hairpiece which is really cool and useful so yeah i just love everything about this guy also let's take a look at him with all the attachments and stuff so the reason why i didn't put the jetpack thing so i can show you the printing but this one rex has a jetpack um, he also has, by the way, he just has dual molded legs. And he uses the zap pieces, like electricity, for his, like, uh, jet things. And, yeah, you can take this off like that because it's just on the black thing, but I'd rather leave it off because it's a bit bulky. And Rex also does come with a helmet, which you can put on, which is the motorcycle helmet with the Rex logo on it. So either way, that's it for the figures. Now let's take a look at the Unikitty. Unikitty isn't really considered a figure. It's more of a build, but we'll show her anyway. 
I don't think she comes in any other Lego Movie 2 set, I think, but, I mean, like, this version, but she just comes in, like, the arrow thing, and she does have, like, fire stuff on it, and, yeah, that's it for Unikitty, and, oh, yeah, by the way, she has, uh, like, spikes, and, yeah, let's take a look at Planty now, and, yep, Planty is the name of the character, right? Um, either way, yeah, he just, I'm just gonna show how he attaches, he just attaches to a fez cap, and to, like, uh, one by one. A two two by two circular tile thing with a hole on it and I just had to put the extra one. Made him look a bit cooler. Now we are going to be taking a look at the exterior of the um was this the rescue rocket? And yep, so the like this part, like the wings, like they move on bull joints, so that's really cool. And you can see those two flower pieces which has an action feature that I'll show you guys later. Um, the wings really give it like a Guardians of the Galaxy esque look. Um, and yeah, it's really cool. Um, here's the front, which, yep, these have cannons and a spring loaded shooter. And if you push at that back part, which I was talking about to you earlier, I'll show that to you right now. Okay, oh, freak. Sorry. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try to push it. See. So, yeah. Oh wow, this is actually really tough. Like, I don't think I can push it. Okay, I I, I can push it. Also, I'll, I'll try doing it in a cut. I've been trying to put on to push the thing, but it's not gonna fire. So yeah, I don't know why they do that play feature. Oh yeah, by the way, they have these like cannons things that can move. And there's also a window, but that's gonna go with the interior. And there's like windows here, two of them, like there. And these things, they they cleverly use the barrel pieces. Uh, for the engines, which is really nice. I like how they did that. Um, they also have, like, this part, which is, like, a giant tire part, and then they use it for the main engine. And, by the way, these side engines or whatever, thrusters, they can move up and down like that. But it's best to leave it like this. So, either way, let's go in with the interior. Oh, yeah, one more thing. They actually do have, like, this part right here, which is just like this. And it's like a chimney. So to take it off, you have to lift up this roof part, like so, and it just comes off like that. And then you can take a good look at the inside, which has a lot of cool stuff. It just goes on the jumpers, this part. There's also one more thing inside here, but we'll look at that later. Inside, he's like a little pilot seat for Emmett. So, yeah, you can put Emmett and there's also space to stand Lucy, and if we remove her, it's just like a frying pan, like a kitchen, and another seat where you can probably put planting, and here it is like a small bed. And you can put the door thing here, and inside here they use the door piece, where they put the TV and two photo frames of Emmett and Lucy, and then there's like a bunch of plants here, and there's also the window, but you can't push it. But you also can't really open it from here. But the window you can can open from back here, where it can be open like that. So we'll just plop that back on. So here, there's not really much. My sister's playing, so sorry for the noise. There's nothing much outside besides the chimney. But there's one more secret area. We lift this. There's a secret stash, which there's like gold in it and a frog. So this one, there's a frog in there as well, but no gold. But either way, that is it for the build of the set. Now, let's take a look. I, I don't have the packaging, so let's just go on with the final verdict. So this set is an honestly really good set, even without the house. Along with the house, it's also really good. <coughs> I really like, I was not really expecting to like it. That's why I started with this. But honestly, right now, it's really good. I like the play features and stuff, although the missiles don't really work that well. Some things I don't like is uh, this part back here where they, oh, they're like, oh, see. Is this part back here which is in a black. I wish it was in a blue because it's a bit too obvious. But other than that, the set is really good. So right now, right, I would rate the set an A plus because it's a really nice way to get really cool minifigures that are exclusive like this Rex. I'm not sure if Unikitty came in the set, but this version of Planty isn't really that exclusive. But either way, that is it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.